As someone who's been using Chromebooks for a pretty long time now, I'll tell you, it's pretty hard to really slow down or bog down a Chromebook, but it's not impossible. In this video, I'm gonna go over a few really quick tips that should help speed up your perhaps slightly aging and slow Chromebook. All right, so we are looking at my personal Chromebook that I daily drive. And the first thing that I think we should do, I think just a good place to start, is to hit your little circle button there on your keyboard, which launches your, let's call it a start menu, your app drawer. And we're going to type in diagnostics and you'll see it pop up right about there. This will basically give us sort of an idea of what our device is doing. You can see the link right there. So we're gonna click on that. And this is, like I said, our diagnostic. So this is gonna show you, if I can get that to go full screen, what your CPU is up to. And it actually shows user as well as system. It shows the RAM that is being used and how much is available. And you can actually run a stress test on the CPU and on your memory. So that is a decent place to start. Just to rule out, you don't have some sort of a hardware failure occurring. You probably don't, but again, it's a good place to start. And it'll also kind of show you what's going on with your CPU. Are you seeing this thing just sort of maxing out all the time? Well, that might be a problem as well. That kind of will tell you there's something that's just causing your CPU to go crazy. Mine's actually uh, kind of peeking out pretty good itself there. Another thing that you can do is you can hit your little circle search button and escape to pull up what is basically the task manager for Chrome OS. And this is another thing that's going to kind of show you some of the things that might be going on. You can see there, obviously, the browser has a memory footprint of 215,000 kilobytes of RAM. But you can also sort by CPU and you can see what is going on, what is actually using your CPU. As you can see there, mine is the Linux virtual machine. Now you may be thinking at that point, maybe that's like the Linux thing you can actually do if I type in Linux here, but you can see that mine is not actually turned on. What that actually is, is the Android sort of virtual machine. That is because this thing does basically have Android running inside Chrome OS. And that's gonna be my first tip for you. It's like the most nuclear option. If your device is slow and you do not use this plethora of Android apps, what you want to do is once again, in this bar, search Android. Let's go down to Android Preferences. And what you can do is remove the Play Store. That is going to remove your ability to run these Android apps, but it is going to make your device run a lot faster. If this is an older Chromebook, and like I said, you're not using those Android apps anyways. All you're doing is in the browser, get rid of it. This thing is, you're gonna be amazed at how much faster this thing runs when it only has to run one operating system. While you're in here though, take a close look at this. And if you see anything in here that's just going crazy, something that's using a lot of your CPU and you don't know what it is, you can look at it and you can see, and maybe Google search these things and determine what that is. And maybe it's something that you can actually remove. Maybe it's an application that's running in the background that should not be. But for some less nuclear options, let's say you wanna keep those applications. Well, you can go into your app drawer here and I would suggest to you any application that's installed that you're not using, uninstall it. And you can see I have quite a few installed on mine and some of these are things that I'm not using anymore. So let's open this up. I'm not using the Kindle app on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this thing. That is an Android app, just get rid of it. Clean up any clutter that you are not using. And likewise, in your browser itself, you need to do the same thing with your extensions. These are gonna bog down your browser more than you may realize. They all take up RAM. So pop into your extensions and anything that you're not using, get rid of it. And all of these are ones that I use every day, so I'm not gonna get rid of any of them, but you can click on the three dots and you can remove it from Chrome. Of course, just straight up removing them might not be what you need to do. You can also go into some of these and actually look at their permissions, view web permissions. And this may also help as well. Let's say they've got a bunch of permissions that you just don't want them to have. And maybe you think that's slowing things down. You can do that as well. You can go in 
you know, permission by permission and shut some of these things down. Another thing you can do is to jump into your settings, go to privacy and security and clear your browsing data. Now, if you do this and you clear everything, you're gonna have to re-log into websites and things like that, but that's a good way to sort of flush things out as well. And then of course, you know, maybe this is the most nuclear option. Let's go to power wash. This is going to just reset your entire device and you're going to fully start over. So another one that you might not immediately think of, but is definitely a good place to start. Go into your settings and let's come down to about Chrome OS and then let's check for an update. Let's make sure that this device is indeed fully updated. And let's go a step further, jump into the Google Play Store, come up here to the top right and select manage apps and devices. And you can see that I've got some updates running right now. That's where those are gonna pop up. Make sure all of these apps, make sure the system itself is fully updated. If it is a specific Android app that's giving you trouble, you can right click it or two finger click it, go into app info, and then come down here to more settings and permissions. This is basically going to open it up and show you exactly what it would look like on an Android device. You can go to storage and cache and then clear cache and clear storage. This is going to fully reset this application. And a lot of the time that can solve these individual app issues. So this one might look a little bit more intimidating than the other ones. And I get that because you're gonna be using a, a command line, a terminal, but it's really not that bad. These devices in particular, the older ones, often have a pretty limited amount of RAM and a lot of them will use what's called a swap file, which is basically where you use your system's storage as like overflow for your RAM. Your RAM is much faster than your storage, but if you run out of RAM, it's better than nothing. And you can actually adjust the size of that swap file. So hold down Control Alt and then hit T. This is going to bring up your command line. What you're gonna wanna do now is type in the word top, just T-O-P, go away, T-O-P and hit enter. And you can see up here at the top, MIB swap. Mine is 15630. So that's the size of my current swap file. MIB is basically a megabyte. It's ever so slightly larger than a megabyte. So we're just gonna round and say that it's using about 15,000 megabytes, which would actually be about 16-ish gigabytes worth of swap file. So mine, I don't think needs to be adjusted. But if you wanted to adjust it, you can open up another tab here. And what you're gonna do, and this is gonna be based heavily on how much storage your device has, which you can search storage management down here in your start menu to see this in use 25 gigs, available 38 gigs. I have quite a bit of free space. You're gonna have to reference that because you're gonna lose that free space when you do this stuff. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in swap, enable, and then a number. If you want to have what I've got right now, which is effectively 16 gigabytes of swap file, you would type in 15728.64 and hit enter, and then you would reboot and you would have exactly what I have. I would encourage you to just remember what number you already had here. Maybe just copy that into a keep note or something like that because you can always just go back and type swap enable and then that number and you'll be right back where you were before or swap disable to just shut that thing off completely if that's the way it was. I doubt that it was, but if it was, swap disable will disable it. Now, how big of a difference that's going to make is gonna be just dependent on your Chromebook. On my wife's Chromebook Lenovo Duet that I think had like two gigs of RAM or something like that, I typed in 10,000, which will give it 10.48 gigabytes worth of swap file. And it seemed, I probably overshot by a large amount there, but it seemed like it did make things open and load maybe a little bit faster. Maybe that will be the case for you. At any rate, guys, those are my best tips on how to speed up your slow aging Chromebook. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any that I left out or if these tips did indeed help your Chromebook speed up in any significant way. I would love to hear about it, guys. So uh, stay tuned for more content just like this. Hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.